This is Cheryl Morgan, live from the Bristol Comics Expo, and I'm just going to be talking to Barry and Dave from the Geek Syndicate. As you can see, they have a, a very splendid poster here. They're, they say they're, um, they're going to be quiet at this convention. <laughs> Nobody will notice them. Yeah, sure. Now, um, if you could just come together a little bit, guys, so we can get you in the camera. Um, what these guys do is they have a website, and they do a lot of podcasting and stuff about all sorts of stuff. So, um, would you like to tell me a little bit about how you got started? Uh, it was a little coming up to two and a half years ago, and uh, we'd just heard of a, a, a podcast about comics in America, and uh, Barry and I, we go way back, way back to school, and we hadn't been in touch that much, but um, I got Barry back into comics, and we were talking on the phone every month about comics, and really laughing, and I thought, you know, what we're doing is practically a podcast. I wonder if anybody else would listen to it. I said no. <laughs> <laughs> I did say no. So basically, we got drunk, we recorded our first podcast as a laugh, and uh, two and a half years later, we're still here with a, a global audience. Still getting drunk. <laughs> Hopefully still having a laugh. Yeah. Well, you know, having a laugh is important. We've, all, we've always said we, it, the day we do an episode, it's not, it's not fun for us, and if we don't enjoy doing it, then we stop. Mm. Um, that's what it's always about to always for us. So. Mm. And what sort of topics do you cover? Comics, books, TV, mm. films... Games, games uh, even tech, or sort of scientific developments which interest us, and all the stuff. You know, when we do news, it's got to be news that's caught our attention yeah. because it's you know it's not just there's a lot of podcasts out there doing this and doing that, and we're all competing for the same bits of news. So it's got to be news that catch us and and, and, and really excite us. That we're able to actually talk about and enjoy and have, have fun doing. Um, there's no point just picking the news of the day because it's the biggest news. It's the news that interests us that we do. And do you have a regular production schedule or...? We're weekly. We're weekly. Between an hour to an hour and a half on a weekly basis. Uh, we talk about, what, like I said, whatever news that's captured us. We talk about things that we've watched or read or played or whatever in the last week. We call it week that was. And then we usually have a main subject which could range from who's your favourite wizard to... Um, we did a Star Wars one when we a Star Wars look back at the six episodes. Yeah, yeah. And we, right. we do interviews as well. So we've interviewed you know, Doctor Who writers, uh, comic writers, TV writers, film writers. We, we like writers because we like to get an insight into the creation process. And a lot of our fans are aspiring writers and artists. Uh, have you found the, the podcast scene changing over the, the two and a half years you've been in business? There's loads more. I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, there were quite a lot when we started, but now it's just exploded, and there's just hundreds of podcasts out there, and I think people don't realise until you actually start listening to podcasts just how many there are. I mean, I did when I started listening, and there's podcasts that cover every single genre you could want. Um, there's a lot more, I mean, what we found now is there's a lot more UK podcasts which actually started out, which is great, because it's a big enough pool for everyone. And I think what is good is that there's so many different types of stuff. I mean, it's pretty much you can pass you now. He has a podcast. Uh, Amy has a podcast. You know, so there's there's loads more, and I think it's great. The, and the thing that I've found as well is that uh, a year and a half ago, when we were trying to get interviews with people, we would have to spend a lot of time explaining what we were doing. And now people are kind of uh, they've understood it and they've understood the value of it as well. And if we get invited to a press junket, people are accepting us as you know, as, as a journalist, as legitimate media, and that's new. A year, and a, yeah. year, a year ago, you wouldn't have got that. You, you do what? And now, you know, people, famous people who've got radio shows are putting out a podcast. <laughs> we were there first. <laughs> Alrighty. And um, is, is it just you on this, or do you have, like, other people who contribute to it? Or? Essentially, it's just the two of us. I mean, occasionally, obviously, we have the interviews. I mean, occasionally, we have a listener on, um, like a listener of the month. We haven't done that in a while, though. Um, as far as the website goes, we have a lot of people involved on the website. Um, we have about four, four, four listeners who do columns for us. Um, we have regular listeners who send in news bites and stuff like that, and we report on the news for us as well. Um, so that's, I think that's really good because it means we're involving the listeners in the world and stuff like that. So. And what we have with it is a forum online, so 
you've listened to an episode, you can come online to our forum and debate and discuss the things we were talking about. And so you've got direct inter interaction with your audience, which is fantastic. And just, you know, a few other media like Twitter, you've got a direct interaction as well. Um, it just carries on that way. Um, and some of the things that we've done, we've, um, we've launched podcast. Um, what's it called? <laughs> One. Comic Racks. We've, we've launched a com uh, podcast called Comic Racks. We've launched a podcast called Science Friction. We've launched a podcast called um, Back to 2000 AD about the comic 2000 AD. And it's just about, I don't know, it's about sharing the media. It's about encouraging each other. It's about supporting each other. Um, there's uh, uh, an, a very intelligent gentleman called Scott who does a podcast called Comic Book Outsiders and he coined the phrase that a podcast is the democratisation of media and what that's allowed us to do is to take back uh, the media from the big corporations and just to open it out to everybody and get everybody involved in a real grassroots way and it, it's, it's lovely. Hey, that's why we're doing a video interview, guys. <laughs> there you go. Alright, so what are you doing here in Bristol? I'm not going to say drinking. But you are. No, that's, that's nonsense. I don't know what you mean. No. So, no drinking goes on at comics conventions. No. Uh, and we won't mention Tony Lee. <laughs> let's not. Let's, let's, let's not mention Tony Lee. Well, or, we, no. we used to come here to promote ourselves. But what we've found, as people have come to know who we are, is that actually we're spending a lot of time promoting other people. And, um, you know, just in the room next door to us, you've got a lot of small press comic artists and writers. And what, we find, what they're finding is, through the podcast, it's a really good way to get for them to get out um, their product, which Diamond, the biggest distributor of comics, is not going to take on board. But that doesn't mean there's not quality work in that room. But through us, they can actually get their, you know, they can talk about their work and get it out to a bigger audience, and it's serving that purpose. Yep. And uh, do you have any special plans for the future, good stuff coming up that people should be tuning in to listen to? Mm. Let's be trying to answer the question about making something up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, coming up next week, George Lucas. <laughs> I, 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 I would like to, uh, like I said, I think podcasts are being taken seriously and I would like to get to a stage where um, it's an established part of the media, uh, along with every other media there. I'd, I'd quite like to be on, on, on TV talking about this, because we've got such a passion for the geek stuff and I'd like to... Uh, well, I think we are, where we are is where we are and you don't want to force an evolution of stuff. but. Um, I don't know, there's so much, I don't mean what I'm saying, there's so much no, more you're to rambling do. now. Oh yeah, I just think... I you just... started off well and now you're just rambling. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> well, I'll just focus on Barry here. Oh, great. <laughs> While Dave gets over his embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, at this point, actually, as we're coming up on the 10 minutes, which is the limit on uh, YouTube stuff, I could probably just say thank you very much, Barry and Dave, for talking to me. And best of luck with the, the website and the podcasting in the future. Thank you very much.